dark. Alright okay, guys, so it's been a while, but the engine's in the car, and I tried to start it, the timing was off. So I redid the timing and uh, put everything back together. Sorry I didn't really record it, I mean, Max decided to come help today, so. I'm trying to get on, get on the alternator belt on. The tensioner's like whack. Doesn't want to loosen up. Pretty cool. So I plugged the hole by the way for the turbo drain. It probably is gonna leak, but we'll figure out something if it does leak. That's <laughs> one. Hey, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add the oil to it. Oh, oh that was bad. This is the exact oil I just took out of it, so it has zero miles, so it should be okay. I'm not gonna run on this, just gonna start for first time and then take it right out. Get out. We should Ella swap my car. Ella swap the world. Ella swap your 240. No. Dang old radiator, dang old car. Okay, we're gonna start it up. Hopefully. I feel like it's not gonna start, but we'll see. Uh, the something fell off. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> we forgot to put the bolt on the water pump fully. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's stupid. <laughs> I told you I should have put the fan back on. You're like, no, let's just start it. Alright, attempt number three. Attempt. Uh, the bolts are barely on, so let's see. Attempt number three. Maybe. Also, I, I hate my life. I'm gonna try to use starting fluid. I'm gonna press the gas a little bit, alright? And it's gonna open the throttle body so you can spray it in there. Oh my god! I'm fine. There's a little bit of fire. Yep. Can you cap it off? My hand felt a little warm. <laughs> Look at this. This hit you? Yeah. <laughs> I think you sprayed it when it was closed. Probably. It yeah. started running here. Do it again? I'm not a pro. I'm sorry, guys. Do not do what I just did. <laughs> I'm right. fine, though. It was like... I saw the fire from inside. It was like... <laughs> boosh. It touched me. Do we get a click with the video and be like, Oh, car catches on fire first start? <laughs> Probably sprayed too much. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, it sparks. That was weird. I think it's just the fluid burning itself. And some dirt, maybe? I don't know. Like, what else could that be? Carbon? Radical. This scared the shit out of me. <laughs> so we're not, we're not gonna use starting fluid anymore. Uh, you wanna put some oil in the cylinders real quick? Just because that stuff's not very good to have in your car for a long period of time. Um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we replayed the footage and like, the first time it was fire it might have looked bad but it was not the camera was close but it did like touch me and since my we're actually on fire right now yeah as we speak. you're a hot guy and the second time there were sparks and stuff looked pretty cool guys look look we have a fire extinguisher it's slightly out of date 
but it's still a fire extinguisher. So that's a uh, learning experience for you guys. If you want to know how to not use a starting fluid start car, don't do that. Don't be max. Yeah. Do you know we got spark plugs and we're just going to crank it to get rid of all the starting fluid, possibly. I know it's not getting fuel, I know that's the problem. Oh boy! Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to crank the car over. And the fuel injector should spray like shit, like everywhere. So if you wanna hold it like this, Max, while I try to crank it, it's like it's gonna spray right. fuel. So, so you can get a video too and look at it. I don't think it's gonna spray anything, that's the thing, but we'll find out. If it's spraying, I have other problems. Time to die again, guys. <laughs> Make it back to the weird. Stop! What? It's not spraying. Yeah, why though? I don't know. That's why it's not starting, right there. Yeah. And you tested the ground for the fuel injectors too. I right? put a multimeter on the fuel injectors, I cranked them a little bit. They had good connection, they had 12 volts. If I don't do a quirk about my car, by the way, guys, I hit the headlight, and, uh, <laughs> or I hit the fuse box, and the headlights go up. I always wonder when I hit when I hit bumps, the headlights went up, and I was always like, I don't know why it's happening, but now I know. It's not a hoax. No one's in there. That's so weird, though. Like, that, maybe I have wiring problems. But... Maybe that's related to your fuel injectors. Well, it's, but it's always done that. Oh. Uh, something with wiring. No. We'll try to crank it, alright? Look it on the keep your eye on the injectors. Put this put this guy back in. So we checked the voltage and stuff coming from the positive and the negative of the plug for the fuel injector. And when we were cranking it, the uh, negative or the positive, I don't know which one, it showed only like six volts. Two but nine. yeah. It's supposed to be 12, we think. So it's definitely something with the wiring. But I think it's just something, the reason it's doing that is because we're cranking it, it's taking more charge, but I don't know. So we cleaned the ground of this, which goes over there, which we also cleaned. So we, we're not sure what's wrong, what's wrong with it exactly. If you have any suggestions to what to do, comment down below, please. Please comment. I really want to see you on. I'm about to cry, guys. Please comment or else I'm going to cry. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching this episode. Uh, I'm going to keep dicking around with it. I'll probably post it in the description below. Well, Max will. If I get it running. And probably an update video after that. So, thank you guys for watching this episode. It's probably short, but uh, just a quick update. So, yeah. Reflectors. Wow.